is the insane news from Infowars.com. Now Twitter admits copying smartphone address books without telling the owners as Apple announces crackdown. And of course, Apple and the phone camera that they load onto their phones and many others uh, has uh, helped people get robbed and mugged and uh, burgled because it encodes your GPS location in the photo. And they've got other systems, you know, when you sign up uh, for different social networks that end up telling people where you're at. And then now they're trying to make it where you can't opt out. That's what Google's saying. And again, it's about just training you. There is no privacy. You will be tracked. Giving you these GMO food, giving you these electronics, giving you the water. All of it piggybacked with Trojan horses. You think it's a gift? Yeah, it's got a bunch of soldiers that are going to slit your throat in the dead of night in it. Little bioweapons, little chemical weapons, little electronic trackers. <clears throat> Remember I'd tell you in 1996, because it was all in the Congressional Act, the uh, Telecommunications Act, that all cell phones by 2001, October 1st, would have to be satellite GPS coordinated through the towers and tracked, and that your phone had to be able to be turned on by remote. They gave them five years to get that ready. And I'd tell people, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. Then in about 2005, it was time to announce it to the slaves. And they said, yeah, everything you do is being tracked. The government dials in when your phone's even off, listens to you. That's freedom. Shut up. The TSA is going to be groping your wife. Us listening to you without warrants is the least of your problems. We're pushing boundaries here. How does a pimp break a woman? He beats her and makes her submit. Remember an HBO show, how much do you pay your girls? I pay them nothing. They're lucky if they get some Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's the government. Just shut up. We're going to grope your family now. But you run Al-Qaeda. It's, it's admitted. Shut up, traitor. Now drink some fluoride. And the little TSA guys are just frying in, the, in there with all the radiation. Just, I love it. Seven, eight fold in cancer on record. Boston Logan Airport cover up. And then you get to die and go into, go into graves as well. And they just celebrate it. Just celebrating the mass insanity. Nine out of ten reactors now leaking across the world. They don't even care about releasing radiation now. They're turning the alarms off in places like San Diego. Saying we'll just let radiation come out now from the reactors. It's just party time. Yeah. Ooh, it's fun to be a... New World Order Eugenics Kingdom with psycho eugenicist crazies jacking the food and water. Okay, I said I'd go to your calls and then here's some of the news I'm going to cover. Exclusive, Clinton in talks about possible move to World Bank. Yeah, because they actually run the countries now in Europe and us. China says next World Bank president should be selected on merit, not nationality. China lends more than $75 billion to Latin America, more than the U.S. and the European XM Bank combined. It's all about loaning fiat money to countries. They, they give them zeros and ones in a computer, and they get all the raw resources. That's, how, that's why the bankers run things. That's why they laugh at us. It's all a big hoax. You don't need to be a president now. You want to be a central bank head, because now they appoint central bank heads over governments like Greece and Italy. Oh, your prime minister, your president is now a banker. <laughs> and the news says it's good to be run by a banker sent by private banks. And it's just, it's the media just goes, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's world government. But the ADL comes out and says, watch Alex Jones and Ron Paul. They're talking about bankers, don't, not allowed to. It's evil. And the general public, the yuppies go, that's right. Destroy my way of life. Enslave me. I'm trendy. I do what the Southern Poverty Law Center says and what Chris Matthews says. Here's another one. China reduces holdings of U.S. Treasuries, a lowest level since June of 2010, so they continue to, to buy less and less. So the Federal Reserve just monetizes it, which devalues it. And then here's a London Independent story. Rothschild loses libel case. And I already covered this a week ago, but the, this new article says, and reveals secret world of money and politics. <gasps> There's a secret world with the Rothschilds at the center buying and selling prime ministers and presidents and Russian oligarchs and, and coal mines in, in Indonesia. And I mean, there's like secret mega elite. Well, uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center said the Rothschilds don't exist. I mean, I heard Limbaugh 15 years ago say the CFR didn't exist. Now, because folks know it exists, he says it exists but has no power. And he says so, so it doesn't. And I'm not attacking him. I think it's reasonable to say it doesn't exist. So, uh, oh, a secret world of, oh, my God. But there's no such thing as Bilderberg. I mean, the New York Times 
three, four years ago, said, I'm insane, and I was in Virginia in a park on the private property of the Marriott uh, Conference five-star hotel, and I, it said I was running around in the woods having a full-on schizophrenic breakdown. There was no Bilderberg there. I mean, I know I talk about this a lot because they said that it was not there. I mean, there were armored limousines, Marines, people being arrested, guys pulling guns, troops flipping us off, helicopters, Secret Service, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, while the whole news is saying they've disappeared in Virginia, no one knows. I call the media, and they go, yeah, we know they're there, click. All the media says they don't know where they are, meeting at the Bilderberg. The media liked being part of keeping everybody in the dark and going for a whole day. Jeepers, creepers, we don't know where they are tonight or the next day. And, of course, the entire horror media knew. They had all, a lot of the top heads of the media in the meeting. It's all part of a big joke. We can't have Hillary and Obama at a secret Bilderberg meeting. That would actually let people know it's real. We'll just say it doesn't exist and no one knows where they went. But this Jones guy got video of it. We'll just say he's crazy. Jones was in a park imagining men were following him in cars and wearing dark sunglasses. I mean, it's Secret Service, you know, coming up, talking to us, cops saying, get out of here. Guys talking in their deals, armored vehicles driving in, you know, machine guns everywhere. Just all publicly there. Foreign newspapers covered it. It was in foreign newspapers, the London Guardian and stuff. But over here, it just doesn't exist. Jones is completely insane. And yuppies read that, and, and, and even if you show them that, the, 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 that it's real, they feel good saying you're wrong. They go, no, there's not a Bilderberg. There's not a Rothschild. No. <clears throat> I like being caught. I like being an idiot. Get me some more fluoride water. Then you wonder why your kid at eight years old gets cancer. Just, and you're still like, it's still trendy. Governor didn't do this to me. All right, I'm out of control. I mean, I've just had it with all of this. I've had it with scum acting like they control reality. Richard in Texas, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm going crazy, as you can hear. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I got two very important things I'd like to ask you. One, I just couldn't believe I just witnessed it while I drove. I walked into a store to place for a diesel, and there was a couple of military guys in there. One of them, he, he had his, he had his uh, uh, military weapon on him, his rifle on him. Ain't they supposed to kick them things on the bases? A military weapon? No, no, no. They were never allowed to do that. They have loaded Berettas, and I know they're not supposed to carry them, but I've seen 45s uh, and, yeah. and, and M6. I've had them run up with guns in Texas. It's on video uh, up in Belton and, and in New York and say, you're not going to film me. And I've had to say, yes, I am. And just they start cussing at me. And I just go, go ahead. I know I'm the enemy because I'm an American. Go ahead, I'm the real American. You work for the Nazis. Go ahead. Do whatever you're going to do to me. But, I mean, the average military is waking up because of that. But the type of goons that they hire, they select the idiots to be part of the domestic stuff. I mean, the real guys that are patriots, they're sent over to be blown up by, you know, Taliban people being funded on the other end by the banks to create a simulation of a war. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, so, so, so where were you in Texas where they, uh, they had M-16s on them? Yeah, I don't know what kind of gun it was, but I guarantee you it wasn't it wasn't a BB gun. I'm down here in Seguin, Texas. Not far from you. That's where I'm at. The people out there, I walked up to a lady at the register. I said, didn't you notice them guys carrying that, carrying that gun? Oh, no, I didn't notice. I saw down, down the people are getting. And also another question I got for you, too, because it's been on my mind. I'm a single dad, and I didn't debate about getting my, my carry license, but I don't. I know how the government is so nosy about getting, in, getting into your business. Do you recommend somebody get their license or not get their license? Sir, God bless you. I'm going to answer your question off air. You need to make that decision for yourself. They sell books at Barnes and Nobles that are the state laws every year updated. And you need to get it. I know the law, but I want to be exact here. For a long under law, you can carry a, a handgun rifle in your car, but they'll harass you for the handgun and took a lot of people to jail and had juries that didn't know what they were doing send you to jail. So they changed the law again to make it clear uh, that you can have the handgun, but it's got to be under specific situations. Even that violates the Constitution. And, and that's Texas. It depends on the state. The rifle, uh, they can't stop you anywhere. But I don't recommend walking down the street with it openly because they'll flip out and come after you. A lot of folks are doing open carry to teach the cops that the Second Amendment's alive. Uh, but I haven't gone and gotten a concealed carry because it turns a right into a privilege and does put you on a list. And I already have my right to carry because of the Second Amendment. But it's good to get the training for somebody that has never been around firearms a lot, it's good to take the course. 
and 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 it, it's good so that now you can't be harassed when you've got the gun. And cops do tend to leave you alone a lot more because they know you you know you've been checked out, and it's like a double you know thing that you're not a criminal. Uh, so I have mixed feelings about the concealed carry. It's time that I probably just get one. Bob Daisy gives the class here in town. It's my wife needs to get it, uh, just so we don't have to worry when we're carrying firearms. Uh, I carry a sawed-off shotgun that's legally sawed off, double barrel, all I need two shots, uh, a Russian bounty hunter. It's just a knockoff of an old-fashioned U.S.-made double barrel. Uh, and that's what I carry. Uh, and I also carry just the revolver, 357 Magnum, seven shot, just because it, it, it isn't going to fail under pressure, under adrenaline. Uh, and uh, so that's what I do. And that's what I've got and you know, on me. And, uh, I mean, if you can't protect yourself with, you know, a double-triggered shotgun, you don't even need to have a firearm. Uh, for the kind of, if anybody tries to carjack me or anything, I mean, it's, it's real simple. I'm just going to shove a sawed-off shotgun in their face and blow their entire head off. So it's uh, really a pretty simple situation at the end of the day. And, and, and I also like that because I've got, like, number six birdshot in it. That way, if even somebody's like 30, 40 feet away, they might get a, a little nick on them or something, but it's not going to go shooting through walls and hurt anybody. Or somebody's carjacking me and there's cars right there. Well, I just shove that shotgun right in this person's chest. Boom! And everybody talks about the kick of a sawed-off shotgun. It's nothing. I mean, I can hold one down just like that with a powerful slug load, and it's just, you know, just a little bit of a throwback. People just get scared of a gun. You just got to reach out and pull the trigger. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Okay, let's go to Michael listening in Texas on KKGM, 1630 AM, Blowtorch. Uh, Michael, good to have you with us. What's on your mind today? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, good, to, good to be talking to you. Um, I just wanted to call. I don't know if you've covered this yet. I listen to your AM radio, so I only get to tune in at noon. Um, but I don't know if you've heard that the TSA is coming to Dallas. Well, I know the TSA is uh, running groping in cities all over the country, but when you say coming to Dallas, you mean on the highways? Well, no, um, the new dart stations that they put in, they've had some people getting shot in the last year or so. Oh, so we've got to have the feds. Yeah, anywhere anybody gets shot. No, no, I mean, I am aware of that. Yes, all, they're going to all 50 states, all major cities, and TSA has said they plan to be in even small towns. Federal non-sworn goons who aren't even officers who violate your rights. And people are like, why'd they create a new agency of government to do that? Because in the old system, they're sworn and go through the Constitution. You just create ignorant morons, an ignorant moron group who'll do this. But no, was this on the news? Um, it was on Drudge Report the other day, and it was in the Dallas Morning News. There was a, yeah, there's just there was a weird shootout between a cop and uh, Someone running away from the station. I, I don't know the details about what it was, but there's been. Yes, I am aware, and, and, I, and I know Drudge follows the TSA. He linked uh, a few days ago to our report about uh, in Dallas, the TSA, you know, running the woman three times to the scanner, saying she was, quote, cute. Uh, and I was aware that TSA a year or two ago, I think, was already did some test um, there in downtown Dallas. But uh, yeah. It, it's not going to be just buses, trains, but also highway checkpoints. They're already running them, sir. You pull up, there's guys in blue, and then and the little pot bellies are commanding the state police. And in the newscast I've seen in New York and, and Tennessee, again, the cops are acting like Tyrannosaurus Rexes are about to come out of the cars. And it's families and 18-wheelers and regular folks. And, and, and there's guys in drill sergeant outfits just, you know, rock-ready, crazed, out there, it's ridiculous, acting like the, you, you just paranoid nuts that they're terrorists everywhere. It's all part of just training us that we're prisoners. And that's what my satire video uh, deals with. It's America with a K, America, land of the snitch. We also reposted it uh, because I posted it last night under a new headline, Alex Jones caught working for Homeland Security. Because I play the part of a coffee shop attendant. Uh, at an internet cafe who's totally delusional, and I'm following real FBI manuals. It's real stuff in there. By the way, people are in the article uh, commenting saying these aren't real, and, and, and I mean, you can go to the FBI's website. These are public now. In the past, these were secret memos. They're now public, hundreds of them. You know, I say dozens, that's an understatement. There's hundreds of these for every business there is. And I mean, it's crazy. Woman with a baby carriage, maybe a terrorist. Blue jeans and a cell phone. Have a snorkel. 
in your car, even at the beach, uh, have a camera. Uh, filming police, talking to police, uh, using AOL or Comcast, uh, they see that as a proxy somehow, as if you wouldn't be checking your email at a coffee shop. It's like, why are you using that if you already have email? Must be a proxy. I mean, just cuckoo. Again, but the feds aren't stupid. They want everyone to be totally paranoid and trust no one.